once you remove this, you're gonna have a hole here. You could call this an ash hole. <laughs> uh. Carrie here from Homestead How. Welcome to our homestead. Jen just made me a new shirt. Thanks for joining us. If you are at all interested in homesteading, being self-sufficient, growing your own food, you are at the right place. Another thing we like to do on our homestead is burn firewood to heat our home and all of our water. Last month we did a video and that video was titled, Stop Wasting Your Firewood Ash. And we listed six or seven different ways that you could reuse your firewood ash. And we had some good ideas there, but that video took off. It's got almost a half a million views, but more importantly, it's got over 1,200 comments and some really, really good ideas and things that we never even thought of to reuse your firewood ash. So today's video is gonna be part two, stop wasting your firewood ash, and we're gonna go over some of the most interesting, most upvoted comments out of those 1,200. There's some really, really good ones in there. So in the last video, I was talking about how you could also use ass. Another great use of ass. Another great use of ass. <laughs> Chicken. I didn't mean to do that. In our last video, I was talking about how you could also use ash as a dust bath for your chickens. Now you try to say that and see if you screw it up. In that video, I screwed up and made the same mistake I just made a few seconds ago and I kept saying what you can use ass for. That was kind of funny. And then I got a whole bunch of comments about um, how I was being a dumb ash. And I thought that was pretty funny. And one other thing I thought was pretty funny was there's actually a hole on the back of our outdoor wood burner. It's just, it's back here. Trust me, it's worth it. Break my neck going back here. It's here, it's on the back of the unit. Here it is, right here. This, right here, this. We could pull this off, and what you're gonna find in there is a little bit of ash. Once you remove this, you're gonna have a hole here. You could call this an ash hole. <laughs> uh. All right, so without further ado, let's go over some of those top comments. Again, there were 1,200 comments. Um, I went through and I picked the best, the ones that had the most likes, and then I picked the ones that I thought were the best as well. So I've got some notes here. Uh, number one, somebody, a couple of people suggested taking a small container and putting your ashes in it. Put a cover on it and put it in the trunk of your vehicle. And then when you get stuck, and you're out in the middle of the snow here in Wisconsin, you can take some of that ash and put it under the tires for traction. Got a lot of upvotes on those comments. People saying that works really, really well. I love that idea. we have fortunate to have a four wheel drive truck, but we also have a minivan. And at times we use that minivan and it has gotten stuck several times. Thought that was a really good idea. All right, number two of the new comments on what you can do with ash was using it in your toilet, if you have a composting toilet or an outhouse. The ash gets rid of the odor and it also covers it up. I know there's a lot of folks out there that use a composting bucket toilet. Say if you have a tiny house or a wall tent, they even sell those in the store where it's just a bucket with a garbage bag in it and you put sawdust in it. Well, instead of putting sawdust in it, you could put ash in it and it'll cover up the odor. All right, tip number three. I'm gonna go try this now and show it on camera. You're working on your vehicle. You get some oil and some gas on your hands. You wet your hands with a little bit of water and then you put some ash in your hands. You rub them together and that that ash will get rid of that oil and it'll get rid of the odor too. The fourth comment, a couple people suggested this one was saving some ash for when the snow melts 
to uh, prevent ants from getting into your house. They'll take the ash and they'll put a little trail of it around the perimeter of their house and it'll keep the ants out. A lot of people commenting on that and saying it worked surprisingly well. Number five, whole bunch of comments on this across the board. Take your ash and create lye with your ash. Just like our grandparents used to do back in the day. Lye can then be used as a cleaning solution and it can also be used to make soap. That's how they used to make soap back in the day. This is something we are going to be doing in a future video. We've got so much ash here, I, I imagine we can make a bunch of lye, but I'd love to make some soap just like our grandparents and great grandparents used to do back in the day. Idea number six, take the ash and sprinkle it along your fence line. We just put up a big fence last year. If you watch our channel, you probably saw that one. It was a deer fence that we put up. And we're gonna plant our garden in there in the spring. We also hope to plant some fruit trees. But right where the fence hits the ground, you get a bunch of weeds, and unless you take a weed whacker out there, uh, an easier way to do it would be to sprinkle some ash right along the perimeter of that fence. And if you do it heavy enough, that will kill the grass right there on the fence line, and then you don't have to worry about getting out there with a weed whacker. So that was a really cool idea. Number seven, polish your silver or brass. This is a great idea too, and I, I, a lot of people commented and said it works really well, and I imagine it would, as you saw in the last video, I cleaned our window on our wood stove with some ash, and it worked incredibly well. In fact, out of all the things I suggested in that video, that was one of the top suggestions. It worked, worked wonders, so um, cleaning your silver or tarnished brass was the number Man, tongue twisters today. Polishing your silver or cleaning your tarnish. Can't do it. Ah, moving on. Number eight. This one I have to test. I haven't tested this. This one I'm a bit skeptical on, but it got some good upvotes. You know that green slime stuff you have that you could put inside a tire um, to patch a hole? I'll show you because I have some here. We used it on our Argo tires. It worked wonders. This person suggested Instead of using that nasty green slime, you can mix some ash with some water, remove the stem from your tire, from the valve, and you can put that ash water mixture in there and it'll patch the hole just as good, if not better, than that green slime will. I'm definitely gonna try that one out and show it in a future video. This is working really, really well. You can feel how abrasive it is. It's just lightly scratching the surface, but it got that big stain off, no problem. And I'm just gonna wipe it off with a wet washcloth. Look how much cleaner that is. It looks like a brand new window. Took that big black mark off. Things you can use this for is to clean up spills in your garage like oil. Okay. Uh, another thing you can use your old ash for is fixing ruts in your driveway. So I'm going to put some in here. Another really good use for your old ash is eliminating odors in your refrigerator. And we always get some ice right in this corner here. So I'm just going to sprinkle some ash here and then I'll be able to sweep it right into the driveway afterwards. So ash is really good replacement for using salt to get rid of ice and snow. All right, so one of the number one things you can use with your ash is for fertilizing your garden and keeping pests down in your garden. Another great use of ash, another great use of ash Chicken dust bath. Another great use for your used ash is for chicken dust baths. You can put a container out with the ash in it. You can even put some of it on the ground. Obviously make sure that it's all cool when you do that. And the chickens can give themselves a dust bath just like they would in summertime in the dirt and dust. All right, so in conclusion, if you burn firewood, you're gonna have ash. There's lots of ways to recycle it, not just tossing it out. I encourage you to go back and check that last video we did. We had some really good ideas there, some really interesting conversations in the discussions, and uh, even more ideas here. 
So if you're watching this, please leave a comment down below if you have additional ways that you recycle your wood ash. We'd love to hear about it. I love learning from the community and I appreciate everyone out there watching these videos. Thanks a lot. Please hit that subscribe button and have a great day.